What's going on guys? Untoward Banana here and today we're going to talk about the top 10 in my opinion unwritten rules of a streamer or, or streamer etiquette you would say. These are, these are rules that you as a streamer should adhere to or at least keep in mind in the back of your head and to me these are the top 10 most important ones. Let's get to it. And the cracks begin to show. Number one. Calling out your lurkers. This is something that some streamers will do. They'll kind of like click over to the to the viewer tab, kind of try and see who's in their chat. They'll do it especially if they have like, you know, maybe 10 people watching, not a lot of people talking. They'll kind of scroll through and they'll start calling out lurkers like, hey, I see so-and-so here. Why aren't you talking? Or who's this? Why aren't you talking? Avoid that, guys. Something to chat in general or even saying something to a regular who's there all the time. Maybe they were talking, they stopped. You know, that's fine. You go, hey, you still there, banana? But if I start going through and I see untoward bananas there, that's me, by the way. Untoward Banana's there, and he hasn't talked the whole stream, he's just there, leave him be, right? Leave it be, guys. If the person needs to lurk, they need to lurk. Don't try and pressure them into talking when they don't want to. Number two, pointing out people that haven't been in your stream for a while in a negative light. Hey, I haven't seen you so long. What's been up? Totally fine. Right? When, it, when you get kind of blaming about it, you know I haven't seen you forever, so-and-so. Why are they never in my stream? I see them in someone else's stream. Not appropriate talk for Twitch, right? Not appropriate talk for your stream. Something that bothers you, you know, you can talk about it off stream with someone, fine. But on stream is not the place to be, you know, aggressively attacking people for not being in your stream. That's not, they don't have to be in your stream. You know, it doesn't matter if they're there for 20 days straight. They want to stop being in your stream, that's fine. I mean, that's, that's their choice. You do not get to complain or attack them because of it. Especially not on stream, especially not for other people, right? Someone you haven't seen comes back, be happy. Do not be like, where you been, buddy? You know, you're expected to be here at 5 o'clock every day. Come on, right? Number three. Asking for subs, bits, donations. Guys, come on. This shouldn't even have to be on the list, but it is there because I've seen it over and over again. Do not ask for subs, donations, or bits. Asking for subs is super inappropriate. I know of streamers that have asked for subs, not even on stream. They've typed to other people who watch their streams off stream complaining that they're giving subs to other people not to them that's so unbelievably inappropriate guys i know it's a career and i know you know for people this is the way you're trying to make money you can put up a sub goal you can put up a little notey hey i need this money subs a month in order for me to make it fine i understand you know you got to do what you got to do but, but to pressure your viewers into giving you subs is super appropriate super appropriate uh it's something we don't do in the streaming community and the people that do do that end up getting called out for it Blaming other streamers on stream for your lack of engagement or your usual engagement if you're used to a certain amount and you're getting a lower amount. The idea is you don't poop downhill. You don't throw your garbage at your stream. If someone comes in to watch, you know, you don't complain to them about your lack of engagement. A lot of times I'll see, you know, someone, let's say they average, you know, 25, 30 views. Maybe and they've been hitting like in the 15 that day or 12, right? They're getting a lot lower. They're playing to the stream and they'll say, oh, I'm not getting the views because so-and-so is on. I'm not getting the views because of this, you know. It's not not the appropriate reaction, guys. If you don't complain, it's, a, it's an unwritten rule. You don't complain about other streamers taking your view or other streamers uh, in general when you're on stream. Number five. And that, that same concept falls right to number five, complaining about the stream to your viewers. You don't, don't complain about the stream to your viewers, guys. They're, they're there to get them entertained. I, I know a lot, a lot of times, especially I feel like when we're in our earlier days, when we're like five to ten average viewers, and we're having a bad day. But when you have a community of people watching you, it's, it's a bad idea to complain to them about your stuff. There's a general con to complain to people that are that are watching, right? If I'm here to entertain you, I'm not going to complain to you about my problems with entertaining you, you know? The best thing to do is find someone who's actually above you, either in the streaming community, like they're, they get higher views than you, or a friend that's been doing it for a while, someone that has experience that you can complain to. Because yeah, we all have issues. There's so much there's so much pressure on you to perform and maintain a certain amount of average viewers and, and be funny and be good at the games with that and it's stressful and you want to complain about it. I get it, I do the too. But I'm not gonna go to my community of people that come to get entertained by me and start just spewing all my problems on. That's not what they're there for. That'll lose you views. So guys, do not complain about your stream to your stream. Number six. Be appreciative of everyone's time. People can't be there for your five to seven hours, right? Everyone has a schedule. They're going to do the best they can to be there. But it's our job as the streamer to understand that people have lives and 
them being in the stream is them doing something for you that they could be doing something else. They could be playing a game. They could be watching another streamer. They could be doing all sorts of other things. They could be making food. They could be having a family, having a life, but instead they're watching you. That's amazing. Appreciate that. Every person, appreciate. 10 people are doing that? That's crazy. 15 people? 20 people are spending their time watching you. Etiquette, a gentleman streamer. The etiquette of streaming is to appreciate the people that are there, and that moves right into number seven. Number seven, appreciate every bit given. This is something that, as a small streamer, you're gonna do. When you first start streaming, people start hitting you with those bits. 10 bits, 20 bits, 30 bits. Oh my God, it's amazing. And as you grow, you start to get a little bit more used to it. It's our job not to get jaded about it. 100 bits to someone can mean a ton, and to someone else can mean nothing. It's important to you to remember that the person giving it to them, that's everything, and you have to show appreciation for it. 20 bits is 20 cents, right? So to you go, oh, 20 cents, big deal, big whoop, okay? But to them, they only have 100 bits to give, and the fact that they're taking 20 out of their 100 and giving it to you is the world, and you must show that appreciation, guys. That, that's gonna keep people coming back. It's gonna make them show that you care about them. Uh, but be kind to your community um, and their skills. Most of us here, you know, if you've decided to take the leap, you're a streamer, it means you're probably good at the game. Not necessarily, maybe you're just there for the entertainment, but, but a lot of you guys are, are killers in the game. And a lot of your viewers are going to be less skillful. They want them to feel comfortable and welcomed, and you want them to want to play with you, right? On your community days, on your sub days, whatever you have. When your community member joins you, if they're a way lower skill level than you, don't complain about it. You just make them feel, hey, you know, it's, it's all, I enjoy playing with everybody, you know? And... You know, I'm gonna help you get better, you know, stuff like that. You're, ne you're never gonna be like, oh, I'm not gonna play with so-and-so. They suck, dude, right? That's gonna make them feel terrible. Terrible. Why would they wanna come play with someone who's gonna poop with them? Now, granted, we can talk all the in the world, as long as it's joking, it's playable between friends, right? You know, I love, you know, making fun of my community and they make fun of me in a lighthearted way. I understand that you guys, um, you're the streamer, you're the entertainer. Your job is to entertain the chat, not the other way around. What does that mean? It means you can't get upset if nobody's talking in your stream, if you're not talking to them, if you're not engaging them, your job is to keep chat engaged. So if I'm talking to chat and there's no one talking back, I don't get to be upset at chat. I have to be upset at myself. Hey, what am I doing wrong? Why is chat not engaging back? Someone came in, I said hi to them. Did I keep up the conversation? Did I start asking them questions? Did I, did I make them want to engage? Or did I just go back to playing the game? Your job to keep the chat going, not chat scob to keep you going. Number 10. Unwritten rules, stream etiquette. It is totally okay, fine, and should be done shut down certain types of talk. Especially when you first start, when you're only getting a couple views and then someone comes in and every view counts to get seven views, to get eight views, every view makes a difference. Someone comes in, but they start talking all sorts of nonsense. It's actually kind of hard at first because when we first start streaming, all we want to do is welcome everybody in, get everybody part of the community. And then all of a sudden there's a person that you're like, oh, this guy, this girl, this person, probably not healthy for the community. Makes other people uncomfortable to be around. You have to think not about the one view at this point. You have to think about the kind of community you're trying to curate. So it is okay and should be done. Uh, it's expected of you, actually, by your community to shut down certain types of talk. To shut down certain types of people. You have toxic people that just want to come in and troll. They want to come in and talk about stuff that you don't want in your stream. You know, you could try to talk play. Hey, we don't talk about that kind of stuff here. Hey, we don't do that stuff. Eventually, it's going to be your job to kick them. Uh, remember, you are curating your community. So do you want to have a community where chaos reigns and anybody can say anything and nobody wants to come back because somebody in there is being a total troll or you're gonna have a healthy community where people can come and feel comfortable all right guys those are the top 10 unwritten rules uh slash streamer etiquette if you have a rule if you have an idea something important about streamer etiquette i'd love to hear it leave it down in the comments below let me know if this video was interesting if you want to uh, hear more about this kind of stuff if you want to add your own to a piece if you think i'm wrong about something i'd love to hear it uh you know like subscribe all that kind of stuff next week i think we're gonna do viewer etiquette so if you have any great viewer etiquette ideas i know no self promoting uh, everyone says it but if you have anything other than that one i'd love to hear it in the comments i'd love to hear it in the discords i stream on twitch Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, come in there, see if I'm keeping up with my own rules. And uh, check you guys out on the next one.